So today we are reading Prema Bhakti Chandrika, verse 75. Hmm. Verse 75. Ah. Prarthana Horibo Sada Shudha Bhave Prema Katha Nama Mantre Koriya Aveda Naishtika Koriya Mana Bhajo Ranga Shri Charana Papa Granti Hobe Pariceda I will always pray for Prema Kata with a pure, selfless heart, considering the holy name and the initiation mantras to be non different. Fix your mind and worship the rudy lotus feet of the Lord. In this way, the knot of sin will be cut. Mm. Once again, I will always pray for Premakatha with a pure selfless heart. I will consider the holy name and the initiation mantras to be non-different. Fix your mind and worship the rudy lotus feet, the Lord, in this way, the knot of sin will be cut. <clears throat> Fixation in worship. <clears throat> Sudha Kanika Vyakya commentaries of Ananta Baba. In this Tripadi, the blessed author instructs his own mind to be fixed in the Lord's worship and thus reveals some truth about such worship. First he said, Prartana Koribo Sada Shuddha Bhave Prema Katha I always pray for loving topics with a pure heart. With a pure heart means exclusively without seeking personal pleasure. We may also, we may always speak about pure worship without personal motives, but actually <clears throat> such pure selfless worship is very rarely attained and is dependent on the grace of Sri Guru Vaishnavas 
and Shri Hari. Overcome with bodily consciousness, we are covered with many kinds of subtle desire, desires. For women, gold, profit, adoration, distinction. that dwell in the heart. At the end of Shri, Shri Hari Bhakti Vilasa, it is written that the desire for distinction is present in the heart of even one who has renounced everything else. Okay. <coughs> Stop it. Eh? Mm. So, Radha Charan Prabhu, could you give something in this matter? Radha. <coughs> It's written here, um, but such purity in heart very rarely attained. What I heard. Um, this is mean the person who is on the way. He is worshiping his beloved Takurji. Must accept his nature. But he is maybe he is worshiping not so pure. <laughs> or arise, what will be? He he will stopped by mind. Oh, you could not do this worship. Your worship is not pure. It's doubt. I remember Shilnaranga Samaraj told the doubt is the first obstacle on the way, which must be removed by any meaning. Doubt, no? doubt, yeah. Doubt in yourself, doubt in your guru, doubt in Vaishnav. It's just coming in the heart, immediately try to remove it by a new meaning. Otherwise, you will not move forward. Mm. It's, it's that feeling what I received just hearing this, Radhe. So, Radhan Charan Baba saying, this doubt, <coughs> doubt is obstacle. Because doubt means no faith upon maybe Guru, maybe Vaishnava, or maybe Ishta Deva. Mm. Then, doubt means no faith or less faith. Then, Guru Dev said, hope does not come. And if hope does not come, then prema does not come. Like, uh, if we have a wife, what we have husband, maybe live together, but always doubt there. Then always fighting, always find fault, always uh, something, thinking something wrong. <coughs> then hope does not come, the many cases may be separate or divorce and prema love does not come. 
I fear this one. Radha <coughs> Charan Baba say, actually such pure selfless worship is very rarely attained. It depends on the grace of Shri Guru, Vajnava and Shri Hari. Means we have ego. And by ourselves, it is difficult to destroy our ego. We need someone, someone's help. And which person we, we need help? Which person we should take shelter? That person is without ego, pure and selfless person. One day Guru Dev said, <clears throat> surrender to Guru means give your ego to Guru. <laughs> then Guru Dev Swallow that ego. But uh, stop on the throat. Not digest. Because in the heart, Radha Moha is there. We cannot, uh, we cannot give ego to Radha Moha. So Guru Dev is like Lord Shiva. He swallow our ego. And then he keep on the throat. So this is really, uh, I feel, our ego, by our endeavor, we cannot destroy. We need help, someone who is very elevated without ego, without self-motivation. And this morning we are a little bit talking with Guru Dev. Pure heart. What do you mean pure heart? What do you mean Stai Baba? If we have self motivation, self motive, means we have some desire. Then we cannot, we cannot be stai. If we have a desire, our decision oil is moving. Our desire is all moving. Today I like this. Tomorrow I like that. Day after tomorrow I like another thing. And especially this, this here. What is this impurity? Impurity means bodily consciousness. And Baba mentioned, we have many kind of obstacle. Baba mentioned the subtle desire for man, for ladies, for women. For ladies, for man. And also gold means money. Everybody likes to get money. But money is like intoxication. We lose our intelligence. Our intelligence becomes impure if we attach the money. Also profit. Profit means if I do this bhakti, if I do this seva, or oh, I can get something, reward. Maybe I can get money, I can get maybe name, fame, or some kind of profit. This also adoration. 
disciple, many disciple likes to be glorified by others, but does not like to be chastised. Chastisement from Guru Dev, we don't like it. Because our ear always want to hear our self's glorification. And this also distinction. Distinction means I'm special person. You are ordinary, but I'm special. You know, I'm born such and such family, very aristocratic family. You know, I graduate such a prestigious university. You know, I have so much big company. I have so much money. I got so much fame like this. So these things dwell in the heart. Even here mentioned, even denounced person is difficult to denounce profit, adoration, and distinction. This is very difficult to give up. But only we could give up a three grace we need. Shri Guru, Shri Vaishnava, and Shri Hari. If we don't get this mercy from these three, either or all of these three things, it is difficult to give up these subtle and material desires. Rade, rade. So, Andrew, do you want to say something? I will just okay. want to say okay. the, the commentary. Okay. Yeah, it's all coming in a perfect way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That we don't need, <laughs> nice. actually, we don't need to comment. Very nice commentary. That's true. Okay. So, now, so, <clears throat> we have to reverse it. So we proceed with, uh, I guess it's ba uh, Hari Bhakti Vila. Yes. So there is a verse. The practitioner <coughs> must be very careful not to touch the stool of the desire for distinction, which cannot be given up even by one who has renounced everything else and which is the root cause of all vice. Mm. Raguna Das Goswami has called this desire for distinction Dushta Shvapacha Ramani Shameless Dog Eating Woman In his Manakshiksha 7, <clears throat> he writes, O oh mine, the shameless dog eating woman of the desire for distinction is dancing in my heart. Oh. Okay, once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rade, Rade, I guess now. Could you hear us now? Rade, Rade. Yeah, I think I think it's now working. I forgot to turn it on. Once again, uh, Hari Bhakti Vilasa says, the practitioner must be very careful 
not to touch the stool of the desire for distinction, which cannot be given up even by one who has renounced everything else. <clears throat> And this desire for distinction is the root cause of all vice. Raguna Das Goswami has called this desire for distinction Adushta Shvapacha Ramani, shameless dog-eating woman. He writes in Manashiksha, <clears throat> O mind, the shameless dog-eating woman of the desire for distinction is dancing in my heart. How can saintly love, then even touch that heart. The great saints shed light on the different hidden desires for personal happiness in the hearts of the practicing devotees and in this way benefit us, the practitioners. Premananda Thakur writes is in his Manakshiksha, O oh mind, you just don't understand. You say, you are beyond the Vedic regulations, but you perform forbidden activities. When I see this, I see your very essence. Oh mind, you call liberation a luxurious distraction and have thrown it far away. Give me a hint so that I can understand this truth. Fleeting, useless riches are always desirable. And you are going mad thinking about it day and night. O oh mind, you outwardly perform rituals without desire for gain. But you are not able to free yourself from the same desires. In your speech, you are detached from the material world. Who you call my everything is the same everything. You give only a lousy banyan leaf to. And you think that it's yours to give. O oh mind, you say, I worship Vrindavan, but 
You're happy staying at home. You love all exterior trappings. You are satisfied with pray, praise. And you are enraged when insulted. How did you manage to destroy the happiness of your soul? You say that you follow the gopis, but what do you understand about the meaning of following the gopis? You cannot let go of your nature one inch. You get pleasure seeing the face of material nature or opposite sex. Who swallows you completely. Listen, says Paramananda, Premananda. If you think about it, it's all a ball of confusion. What is to be gained by listening or flapping your mouth? Oh mind, always chant. Hurry, hurry! While you traverse the path of love and you will surely be cleansed of all impurities. Yeah, would some someone like to say something? Okay, I don't know. Use my mic. This Premananda, Premananda uh, does was uh, saying the like duality of our 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 behavior. Sometimes we say something, but uh, inside is different, or sometimes behavior is different. And Premananda, uh, this Premananda, uh, Shrira Premananda Thakuru, saying, uh, be honest, I feel like be honest, as a cantic, one pointed, and always chant Hari Hari, holy names of Hari. Then you will surely be cleansed of all impurity. This is very, uh, sometimes we, it's not easy to hear this kind of word, but uh, this is a very nice word. Yeah. It's okay? Yes. Yeah, yes. Okay. 
Ada pet please no. Next no please. I also now remembered. Yeah, please. Have you know the Baba? Ah. Uh, wrote this uh, book Obstacles. We know the Baba. Yeah. And then uh, he, at one point, he is describing uh, how Sadhu reacts on external, re- external trouble. And he sees that something is happening, some pain, some injustice, or something like that. Then uh, he goes in in deep meditation. He doesn't argue. <laughs> he goes into himself and see where am I about this? Am I how how much am I touched? Radhe Radhe, my dear Andaka Prabhu, can you speak inside mind? Yeah, yeah I'm you. speaking. Can you hear now? Rade. Rade, Rade. Yes, loud, loud, loud. A loud, Thank loud, you. loud. Okay, okay. <clears throat> and, um, yeah. Uh, seems like sadhus just spontaneously uh, do their self realization all the time. Whatever happens, it's for them inspiration to go inside and look inside yeah mm. Rad. this is how I, what I remember the yeah, mm. now I feel anything external problem is sometimes happening that uh, means in our inside something is there and therefore Andakaji say so Binod Baba was if something happening externally he check himself and go deep into the uh, meditation right something mm. so I also feel Anything touch material desire, material things, and then and then uh, material energy find out, and then try to clean this impurity, and therefore uh, it seems material energy give us so much trouble for us, but. Reality is to purify ourselves, actually to correct our impurity. Impurity means material, this Baba mentioned, subtle desire. If this impurity is go away, and slowly, slowly, problem also will go away. That's my feeling, my mm. understanding. <clears throat> mm. Okay, we continue reading. <clears throat> Srila Thakur Mahashaya is saying, I will always pray to the lotus feet of my chosen deity that I can always this is hear. the problem. This is very important. You choose one deity and meditate in that. That is our goal. Mm-hmm. If you not choose any deity, then goal is not clear. Choose a deity and to meditate and chant for Then you chant also. If you do not choose 
what is my duty, my Ishtadev, will never do that. That material desire will never go. Relation is the most important thing. He just say, I'm a son, you are my father. This is, means he decide to see like a father as a son. He becomes son to see father. I have to decide this. My spiritual constitutional position to see chosen deity. First, we start with my sadhya, physical body. Then we can come to my spiritual life. That is the spiritual life. We cannot do you wasting time. This is the goal. Choose one deity and fall in love with that. <laughs> Guru is not a goal. Guru is a navigator who will show you how to move for them. Oh, thank you, good day. So like, uh, so we say Sambanda. <coughs> so if we say Sambanda, but uh, if we don't choose uh, Diti, Ishtadeva, then Sambanda is meaningless. If Sambanda is nothing, then Abhideya is no meaning. Then Abhideya is no meaning, then Prayojana also no meaning. So I feel this, this chosen deity means we need to cho cho choose deity and to, then we need to know the Sambanda relationship. Without this Sambanda, we cannot go go further. That's I felt after Guru Dev's hearing. I give you the example. The life of <coughs> Parachandra changed when he chose Patit Pav. He is not an ordinary person. He is very qualified. And when you see the life change of Sridhar when he chose his Ishtadev. And the life is choose to change when the Gopika and Gopika choose his Ishtadev. Their life change. You can learn from them how they change their life. They are the teachers, how they change their life, what they was and what they happened to them. Mm. Yes, we can do. Oh, they are happy and they make happy. Only with this. Hmm. Srila Thakur Mahashaya is saying, I will always pray. Radha Radha, no? No voice. Very close. No voice, please. Nobody listen here. You you can do this. Maybe this maybe Radha Radha, Radha, how is now? Yeah, yes. Ah, oh, maybe just change the mic. Okay, 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 okay. 
<coughs> so, uh, Srila Thakur Mahashaya is saying, I will always pray to the lotus feet of my chosen deity that I can always hear, chant, and remember the loving topics of Sri Radha Krishna, which must be experienced within a desireless, pure heart, free from personal desires. Prayer has the power to open the shackles of the Lord's grace. The human beings whose hearts are covered over by different customary lusty desires cannot give up such personal desires and become pure-hearted on the strength of their own practice. When Sri Hari's grace descends after prayer, one will be easily blessed with the good fortune of becoming able to con constantly study the loving topics of one's beloved deity with a spotless heart that is understood from this statement. After this, the blessed author says the holy names of the Lord, like Krishna and Govinda, have been placed in the dative case and linked to endings like Manach or Svaha by the sages of old times. And so they have become six, six limbed mantras. Therefore, in principle, there is no difference between the names of the Lord and His mantra. The question may now be asked, <clears throat> if there is truly no difference between the Lord's holy name and his mantra. And if the holy name does not depend on initiation or the right named Purascharya, giving prema 
to those who, who perform its kirtana regardless then what is the use of mantra diksha in this connection Srila Jiva Goswami said mm, in his Krama Sandarbha commentary on Bhagavatam if it is said that since the mantras consist of the names of the Lord and that is their specialty since the name of the Lord has been ornamented with additional words like Namaha and by the will of the Lord have been granted special powers by sages like Narada <clears throat> then these mantras establish a special relationship between the Lord and those who chant the mantras. This is amazing. No? Mm. The names of the Lord, however, do not depend on any of this and are able to grant all human perfections up to prema completely by themselves therefore we can see that the name itself is more powerful than the mantras why then do those who already perform nama kirtana still need to take mantra initiation the answer to this question that is that although in theory if we measure the power and the glory of the holy name Ajamil is good example there is no need to take initiation only the holy name still since the conditioned souls are by nature engaged in abominable activities due to their attachment to physical enjoyment and are in this way very scattered minded the sages like Narada have established the importance of the institutions of initiation in order to curb 
the above mentioned tendencies and to engage the people in Archana Marga, the formal temple worship. If these rules are broken, the scriptures prescribe certain atonements. For all these reasons, initiation is to be taken. Especially taking initiation in the mantra from a bona fide guru who answers to the dis descriptions of the scriptures is able to remove the dirt of Maya from the human mind. Thy does by Sri Guru's grace, the scattered mind will be pacified and one becomes absorbed in bhajan. The original personality of Godhead, Sri Nanda Nandana, in the form of Sri Gauranga, had also taken mantra initiation from Sripad Ishvara Puri and had personally told Sri Sanatana Goswami in the beginning of his delineation of the 40 of the 64 items of bhajan in the beginning <laughs> shri guru padashraya diksha guru rasevana and so on We find this in Chaitanya Charitamrita. Taking shelter of Sri Guru's lotus feet. Taking initiation from him. Serving Sri Guru. inquiring about the teachings of true religion and following in the footsteps of the sadhus. In this verse, it is shown that taking mantra initiation from Sri Guru is means coming in the bona fide disciple succession and this is shown by Sri Guru's teachings and his pure behavior. The behavior of the great saints shows the same. Hmm. 
Another meaning of Nama Mantre Korya Abheda is that there is no difference at all between the holy name and the mantra since the holy name is also called a mantra. For, a, for instance, the 32-syllable holy name formula, Hare Krishna, <coughs> is called Maha Mantra. In this regard, regard it is seen in the glorification of the holy name in Srimad Bhagavat, its story of Ajamil. Sri Vishnu Tudas Dutas are telling Yama Dutas, two Yama Dutas. Just as one's disease is surely cured by a powerful medicine without even knowing its healing power. Similarly, one will certainly reap the results of chanting the holy name mantra even without knowing its power. A powerful substance does not depend on accident or intent. In his Krama Sandarbha comment on this verse, Shilajiva Goswami writes, Here the holy name is called Mantra. Although by its nature the holy name and the holy mantra are non-different still the mantra depends on faith and since the holy name does not depend on faith the word mantra here must be seen meaning nama name <sighs> radhe radhe some comments This impressions. <clears throat> so, this say the holy name and the holy mantra are non-different. Still, the mantra depend on faith. Since the holy name does not depend on faith, 
The word mantra must be seen as mainly meaning nama. Like, uh, <clears throat> so this is my understanding. This, like, uh, so first we start Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So this consists of the name, <coughs> like uh, Hare Krishna and Rama. This Maha Mantra does not depend on faith. Of course, faith is there and we can go more deeply advanced. But even someone who chant, like jokingly, oh, you are chanting Hare Krishna, you are crazy. Like, even though someone say, could you say Hare Krishna? Hare Krishna? What do you mean, Hare Krishna? I don't know. Why are you saying like this? So like, if somebody say some accidentally, or somebody say jokingly, still, this Maha Mantra, it works. Like, uh, if we say, Chanting holy name is three kind of stage. Nama Parada and Nama Basa and Shuddha Nam. Even we chant unknowingly, jokingly, accidentally, it's called Nama Basa. Like uh, this Ajamira case. Ajamira case is like uh, Ajamira was saying the sand name, Narayan. And then, but this Narayan name invoke uh, Vishnu Dutta to come. Narayan's name, even indirectly, it help Ajamira. And Ajamira was saved finally. So it does not depend on faith. This is name. But say, if <coughs> we chant, say, Gayatri Mantra, then Gayatri Mantra, we need more qualification. And also we need to more uh, faith. Although this Gayatri Mantra consist, consisting the name, for example, to chanting Maha Mantra, we don't need to bathe. We don't we don't need to be who is pure, who is not impure. It doesn't matter. After getting up, immediately we could chant. Or even some impurity coming, like someone die, still we can chant. Or ladies, maybe period time, still we can chant. But Gayatri Mantra, Guru Dev is saying, we should bathe before a chanting Gayatri. Or if in some family member, some impurity come, we cannot chant. Or if ladies, some period time, also, we cannot chant because this Gayatri Mantra is 
It's consisting. I think this is our Acharya is suggesting and make some rule and regulation to chant mantra. Because this mantra, especially Gayatri mantra, is more indicating the form of our Ishtadeva or worship deity. So if we want to worship deity, so we have to be, we have to bathe before worshiping deity or before touching deity. We need some procedure. Because this is, uh, uh, this made rule by, like Narada Muni, Narada Pancharatra, etc. And uh, to, ch to worshiping the deity, uh, generally speaking, we need this mantra, especially Gayatri mantra. Many people s do like this. So this mantra is like, uh, uh, worshiping deity is almost the same. So this, we need this purity. And uh, this uh, nama and mantra, if we go parallelly, then we could purify more quickly. Because this mention, Baba mentioned, why need initiation means to worship the deity. Because we have a tendency to, to think ourselves this material body. And the physical enjoyment, sense enjoyment, we thinking this is a benefit for us. We are thinking. And our mind is also scattering. And if we think we are material body, we have tendency, we have nature engaged in abominable activities. So this Baba mentioned to curb this tendency. Then, Acharya uh, find out to worshiping the deity, this Archana Marga. So, this mantra using by worshiping the deity. So, this is kind of Nama and mantra. Uh, for us, like, uh, Maha Mantra, Harina, and also Gayatri Mantra. This Baba, it seems explain. And uh, even though Maha Mantra had so much power, but if we could do chant both mantra and taking shelter of our Guru Dev, bona fide Guru, because bona fide, bona fide Guru has special power to remove our material tendency, our ego, ahankara, material desire. So therefore, to get the blessing of our Guru Dev, it helps. Rade, rade. Oh. Mm. Mm. <coughs> Wow. Ah, we miss you, we miss you. Thank you very much. So when you love, yeah, please kiss me. Of course, of course. Thank you very much. I love you so much.
Thank you for all. Thank you very much. Thank you for all. Thank you. Every minute. Thank you very much. Sorry. Please come again and again. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Sorry for that. Nada, nada, nada. Careful. Yeah. Okay. All right, we are almost done. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, sorry to say, but the outdated concept of ritual. Oh, okay. oh. So there is a question in chat. <coughs> the outdated meaning like old concept of ritual purity seems to be very much like an Indian superstition. Like many, so many superstitions. Superstition. Superstition, like uh, superstition <clears throat> means uh, it's just creation of mind mm -hmm. and it has no, no spiritual value. Okay. Like this. Mm. Um, like so many, like some custom that are called uh -huh. spiritual, but uh -huh. yeah. Please clarify once again. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry to say, but the outdated concept of ritual purity mm -hmm. seems to me very much like an Indian superstition. Mm -hmm like so many please comment please clarify okay. mm. <clears throat> you comment? Um, the rituals what following by Gaudiya Vaishnavas I'm please correct me if I'm wrong read uh, given by our charis and shown by the examples the essence of all these rituals actually love. If no love in rituals, in what you're doing externally, it's meaningless. The main power which is purified heart is love. Wow. What understood? Wow. Oh, I, I will give one example. For example, Anna Prashna Samskara for a small child. Mm. Uh, according to justice, the priest doing this samskara just to choose, not just, just to define what the nature of this child. Mm. But I saw how Narenga Samaharaj did it. He not just looking what this child uh, choosing. No, he is putting his nose to the Bhagavatam. Choose this. He's creating samskara. Choose Bhagavatam. <laughs> like this. He's not just looking. The love not just looking. Love acting. How Gurdjieff told. Radhe. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Some people say we can worship anything. You know, like I say, we can worship, you know, everything, God, we can worship everything. So here mentioned, but Shastra also mentioned we can worship some certain thing and we can make deity like a stone, like a soil like a tree, you know, like wood, and etc., and sand, etc. So, and here mentioned, faith is important. So, like, if we worship deity, or if we attend aratic, but if we don't have faith on the deity, if we don't have any love for the deity, it doesn't work so much. 
So, and we following, we are following some gods or acharyas, the spirit successions, acharyas, or Mahajana made rule, we are following. Not man made rule, no. We are following Krishna or God's made or Acharya of our Sampradaya or a Mahajana, great authority made that rule we are following. And to follow this, we need this faith, this Baba mentioned. And Radha Charan Baba say, no, more need love. Of course, from beginning faith, then slowly, slowly hope is coming. And then finally love is coming. So therefore, Baba mentioned this faith. So this Indian tradition, many follow, but we follow Shastra mentioned or Mahajana mentioned. That's maybe some different. Is I don't know if this is answer or not. Mm.